Okay, you guys. Hello. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk about if you want to um, join the army. So, continue watching and yeah. Okay, so boom. First thing you do, find your recruiter. After you find your recruiter, you should basically get an understanding. See if it's what you want to do. They're going to lie. Mine's lie to me. But... <laughs> They gonna lie, so y'all yeah, be hearing that right. They gonna lie, so just have your own understanding and make sure what you really wanna do, cause once you hear, so about to get out. All right, boom. So I met with my recruiter. We talked or whatever. I took a pretest in his office or whatever. I got like a thirty something. He was like, "Are you good? So you could go to Meps and qualify." So I'm like, "All right, boom." Meps is the um, military entrance processing station. That's what it stands for. So, boom. I went there. You gotta go through all these processes. You gotta go through dental, get your ears clean. You gotta do health assessment, dog park, all that type of stuff. So, boom. Once I did that, then they took me. I had to come back. They scheduled it with me to take the test. I took the test when I came back and I passed it, but I passed it with like a 97 for my GT score. The scores. Get high. Try to get over 100 on all of them. So like I was saying, try to get good scores on your own. Um, when you take your ASVAB, your ASVAB is a test or whatever. It's like eight sections or whatever. So just um, make sure you study. Don't go in not knowing nothing. You're going to have to do math. You're going to have to do reading. You're going to have to do like, this little puzzle thing to show that you can put parts together like if you was a mechanic or whatever. So yeah so once you take your test and you get your scores your um the person in the office i forgot what they call but they're gonna go over some military jobs that you qualify for but what hmm, they gonna go over some military jobs that you qualify for depending on your scores or whatever so boom once you do that you basically just type up your contract you go in different places in the building of MEPS. you go in different places in there to um Mm, sorry y'all you go to different places in there to finish stuff it's gonna take go ahead do this go ahead do this go ahead, do this so boom you just going around in there all day all day all day all day all day, all day. so boom enter with education get some college it don't matter if you just get some college get some college get your associate degree the higher your education level is when you come in higher your rank is but you can't pass a e4 specialist so yeah so just try to um you know go to school if you can just a little bit just so you can come in and not just be a little fuzzy like i was because i was a fuzzy when i came in also if you're in school right now join rotc jrtc whatever they want to call it do that because that will help you um be a little step ahead when you join or whatever um, be mentally prepared. Don't join if you're just trying to get away or something like that. It takes a lot on the mind. It takes a lot of being away from your family and understanding that you're not going to be able to be around them when you want to. Certain stuff may happen and you can't be around them due to circumstances and stuff like that. So, don't think it's going to be walking apart. But don't think it's going to be like, oh, I'm going to die. It's not like that either. Um... So yeah, once you get done with your contract or whatever, like when you're MEPS and you finish your contract, they're going to tell you when your um, basic training day is and when your AIT day is. So I try to um, go a little later. I try to like get some time home or whatever. But it was like, you might just want to do it now. Like just get it over with because prolonging it, you need to go not ever come back but I, you kind of got to come back because you already signed a contract if you sign it when they tell you they might tell you but they might tell you um before you sign or whatever so if you sign just know that you didn't damn sign the damn contract period so yeah they're gonna tell you your basic training day and your AIT day when they tell you that you can really choose like damn do I want to go this place or I want to go that place they say no they'll be like uh, depending on your job also your job also determines where you went i stayed in north carolina 
and I went to basic training in South Carolina and I went to AIC in Virginia. So when I wanted to go home, it was kind of easy to go home. I would have to catch no flights and had no long rides, two, three hours max to get to South Carolina and to get to Virginia. So I was all right or whatever. And um, after you do your contract, yeah, you find out your um, ship out date. Your ship out date is the day you go to basic training. But really, you go to reception before you go to basic training. But that's another thing for another video, period. So, mm, what else? What's that? The, the contract? Oh, you find your ship out day. And then you um ship out. So, when you ship out, they're going to take you to a hotel. Well, you got to go to a hotel before a certain time. You got to sign in and they don't give you a room. You might have a roommate, you might, you might not. I had a roommate, but she had another little friend that just so happened to be joining when she was joining. So, they shared a room. So, I had my own room. Yeah, because I'm snoo, sighting out. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, maps and Jordan Army is like the easiest part. That is the easiest, easiest part. Because <laughs> you just basically go here, 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 and all in one building. You don't got to go this building, that building, blah, blah, blah. You just go all in one building and you. Yeah, with the yeah. So, boom. Once you do that, it's like, once you find out your contract, you could sign for like six years. I think the minimum is like three years. But I know there's one friend that signed for like two years, but they sent her, they was going to send her to Germany. But it was like, Germany is a three year too, so we can't really send you to Germany and your contract only two years. But her orders was to Germany, so, but she didn't go to Germany. Could have gone to Rice Hit, but that's a different subject. <laughs> so then, yeah. Um, they're gonna tell you how long your contract is, whatever years and how many ever many weeks, if it's any weeks or if it's just straight years, they're gonna tell you or whatever. That might scare you a little bit, but time blah blah. I'm like 17 months in. Yeah, I'm like 17 months in or whatever. And it's not all that. <laughs> but it's alright. And I'm active duty, by the way. If I didn't mention that, I'm active duty. Um, not reserve. So, yeah. Um, yeah, when I found out my contract was three years and 22 weeks, I was like, damn. It's like, damn, it's only 2019, but if I want to get out, I'll at least get out before I'm 25. I really, really get out before I'm 23. But I was saying 25 in my head because I was just like, that's what I just want to do her, period. So, um, yeah, I was like, damn, that's what time but then i was like the time will fly by the time will fly by because my job is 2021 now i joined in 2019 time flew don't even seem like it that's why i'm kind of like blurry about stuff that happened in maps because i don't really remember i just remember we had to do hearing and dental vision um you gotta get tested the girls got to strip down in their bra and panties the boys got stripped down in their boxers and they just examine your body when you're doing this and stuff like that. They're walking around you and stuff like that. And then you go to the wall and they make you duck walk and then duck walk back. I can't duck walk with shit. <laughs> y'all, y'all should have seen my long legged ass. Like, I can't show how long. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show how long my legs is. I'm tall. I'm tall. So imagine you down like this. Oh, oh. Y'all heard that? Imagine you down like this and a duck walk like that. I couldn't do it. I got bad knee. So yeah, after you um, after you do all that dumbass shit, um, they tell you if you qualify, like, cause you gotta be physically fit, kind of, to do it. Um, y'all, yeah, I really couldn't do it, but I ain't gonna tell y'all the secret I had because it's not your business. But say <laughs> so, right now, but my friend was my grader. She had already been to basic AIT. She was well. She national guard, so she um she did my thing. She didn't cheat or nothing, but she gave a bitch the benefit of the doubt. I mean, oops. She gave a girl the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> so um yeah, it was like um it was kind of weird because it's like damn, but then it was like I'm gonna say oh, it was kind of weird because. It was like, um, all these females are gonna be looking at me, woo, 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 woo. 
but then it was kind of like because when you, it's a train when you try and take a shower all y'all is in there together so if you hairy everybody in there gonna see you if you flat chest everybody gonna see that titty sag everybody gonna see that if that ass is fat everybody gonna see that the ass is flat everybody gonna see that however it may be however the body looks that's what people gonna see period so when i when they're like i don't take off your clothes da, da, da. your feet ugly people gonna see that when they was like take off your clothes i was like take off my clothes because back then i was a little insecure with my body but i feel like she want other videos my body was kind of um not the way i roll so i was like mm -mm. i wear my shirt <laughs> But it was like, no, you gotta take all your clothes. So I was like, all right, boom, took my clothes off. Did what I had to do. Got up out of there. Don't wear no thongs, the mips when it's time for you to do this, cause nobody wanna see all that. Don't wear no little, ugly, not ugly bra, but don't wear no sexy bra, cause nobody wanna see that. Wear your little trainer bra or something. I mean, not trainer bra, wear your little sports bra or something. Um, wear you some boy shorts or something. All right, so boom, when you get to your um, hotel, you gonna go to, this little room, I forgot what it's called. It's like this little army room over there. They got a pool table, they got a game system, TV, all that. I think they got snacks. I'm not sure. I don't remember if they got snacks. I know they had mints in it, bitch. <laughs> but um, you go there or whatever, and you sign in, you get your room number. They give you your key in there. Like, you don't go to the front desk and get your key. I don't think. Maybe you do. I don't remember. I think I got my key in there, though. But I think I had to be there before like five or before nine or some shit. Cause you gotta get like a little brief on the TV or whatever, a little video. You gotta be there for, they can give you like two meal passes. I think it's for lunch. I meant for dinner and breakfast. Or maybe for lunch, dinner. I think you get breakfast too, cause we woke up and ate breakfast. Um, yeah, so, once you're at the hotel, they gonna tell you you can't have visitors. Really, you can't have visitors. I didn't have visitors because I'm trying to get some sleep. I don't know what this is about to become when I'm on my way to basic training. So I was trying to get some sleep. Other people had, they didn't have visitors, but yeah, y'all get what I'm saying. So, boom. Once you at the hotel or whatever, you're just chilling. You might see some people. You never know who you're going to end up in basic training with. You can ask them, like, where you going? Where you going for basic? Because da, da, da. there's different buses that come and there's different places they go or whatever. So boom. Um, yeah, you just chilling in the hotel till it's time for you to go. Wake up in the morning. You wake up early, like four in the morning. You um make sure you have all your stuff packed. Like don't unpack your stuff when you get That's dumb. Just have all your stuff packed up. So when you get up in the morning, think I do take a shower, brush your teeth, get dressed, wash your face, lotion up, and get ready to go. Cause you gonna wear your regular clothes too. Um, reception or whatever so boom when you wake up in the morning you eat breakfast they line you up i think either by name or by birthday or something like that and you get on your bus or your van i rode a van because i was only going to south carolina some people rode buses because they were going to kentucky i mean not kentucky but some damn were they went other places but i rode a bus because i was going to south carolina and then um yeah so on your way to reception because it's where you go for basic like i said before on your way there um you really just like nervous you're like damn what it's gonna be like da, 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 da. you're probably scared because you're like these motherfuckers gonna be yelling in my face i already know how i am hopefully i'll keep my mouth closed da, 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 da. so you really just like Ooh. that's how i was <laughs> um yeah, so you just vibing in there, you nervous. They gonna stop and y'all gonna get something to eat. Depending on how far you go, it's depending on how many stops you make. We only made one stop, like 20 minutes away from where we actually had to get off at reception at. We made like a one stop and we went to um, go to Corral. A bitch ate like a fucking pig because I knew uh, basically they was gonna be, I'm gonna be eating MREs and stuff like that. So I was like, mm -mm. Let me go ahead and just eat. They gonna run it out of them. They gonna let me throw it up anyway. So let me just get full, baby. Then drink all the juices and sodas I can because it's gonna be a while before I do that again. <laughs> and yeah, I just just been damn pig when I got in there. And they give like this little this little pass or something like that. 
like a little ticket you give it to the people. They already know, boom, about the little basic. It's gonna be a group of y'all anyway, so they just gonna be taking y'all stuff, giving you drinks, and they gonna tell you where to go sit at. We get our own little section. I think we had a little room, like you know how they had like party rooms in the um little Caesars places and stuff like that in the go to grounds. We had a little our own little room or whatever. And it was me and this other girl from North Carolina, my goddamn doll, Miss Scott and Harvey baby. <laughs> but yeah, it was me and her. Um and it's crazy because we went to they shit together, we went to MIPS together. We went to AIT together. We almost went to Germany together, but the coronavirus hit, so they split us up. Fucked me and my dog up, but we still like this. Boom. Yeah. Um, we got the same MOS and everything. Oh, yeah. Um, At MEPS, when you're choosing your MOS, that's your military job. That's what that stands for. It's your military job or whatever. They got a bunch of different ones. So make sure you... Da, 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 and also if the job you choose or the job they're trying to give you is not what you want to do then don't do it tell them hit me up when y'all got something that i want to do something in the field that i said i want to do something in. hit me up when y'all got something like that like don't knock down and try to force me to be infantry and try to shoot guns and build missiles and blow up missiles although those are good jobs you're probably gonna get a bonus or something like that but i ain't trying to die i'm just trying to join the army that's it um yeah so don't let them play with you period i understand you gotta be respectful and stuff like that but don't let them play with you because they try to give me some bullshit ass job and i was like nope call me when y'all got something and they called me and was like um, could you come to the office? We have some more jobs that just popped up. Da, 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 da. And also, they might reserve your job, but they might not reserve your job. They might tell you they reserved your job, but really didn't. And then that job won't disappear because somebody else somewhere else done got them picked that job. So, yeah. Um, I just, when I picked my job, I was like, yeah, yeah I want to do this. And he lied to me and told me he reserved it, and he didn't. So, they took that bitch. I don't know, like, give me her, period. I'm like, you know, playing on me. I'm like, I'm on, I'm, I'm, I leave in, like, two weeks, literally, from the day I signed up. The day I signed my contract, I left, like, two weeks later from home. So I was like, but they playing on me, like, these folks finna got them. Um, yeah, I'm finna be eight wall already, and I ain't even joined. <laughs> but just make sure they don't play with you. Make sure it's what you want to do. Yeah. But I'm gonna, um, do I got anything? I got some stuff from reception. I'm gonna show y'all that, but I might do that in the next video. So, yeah, um, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna do a video on my basic training experience at Fort, um, what was it? Fort Jackson, South Carolina, for basic training. And I'm gonna do an AIT video for Fort. Lee, Virginia, and I'm gonna do a official duty station video for Fort Carson, Colorado, which is where I am now. And then I'm gonna do a little another video about something else, but y'all just gonna have to wait for that. And I'm gonna try to do it in order so that way y'all can just watch boom, 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 like like in steps from like MIPS to reception and basic to AIT to your official duty station and what could happen at your official duty station and things like that so just make sure y'all stay tuned and make sure yeah you fuck with the kid <laughs> period so i'm gonna do these videos today and then i give y'all the other videos in like a week or so or maybe some days depending on when i got time so yeah fuck with your girl like comment share subscribe and make sure you hit that goddamn notification button if you want to see what's going on for real. <laughs> the other one, I'm gonna lie to you. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it stacked. So yeah, just make sure you got them fuck with the kid. Yeah.